my name is Umi Aisha binti Mama Ramzi. Hi, my name is Nur Aisha Masarah binti Mama Asri. Hi, my name is Nur Rizal Sundar binti Sakya. Hi guys, my name is Luar Daufa binti Mama Wardi. So this is the question for part A question 1. So let's read the question first. Eliza invest 25,000 in an investment scheme for 15 years. The investment rate offered was 5.5% compounded every 4 months for the first 10 years and 7% compounded every 2 months for the rest of the period. Find the future value of the investment. So let's go take a look for the answer for question 1 part A. So first of all, we need to find the first 10 years first which is this, this is will be the keyword. K equal to 5.5% M equal to 3. So we will use this kind of formula. So we will get the answer for the first 10 years. So next we need to find the rest of the years. We will use the same formula and this is for the keyword and we will get the final answer which is 61,060 ringgit 70 cents. So let's go take a look for the next question. In 10 years time, our friends will have enough money to pay 10% down payment on a bungalow that costs 450,000. He invests in a saving account that pays an interest of 6.53% compounded semi annually. So, for the first question is, find the amount of the down payment that he needs to pay for the property. So, next for the question B is, he asks for the down payment. So, this is the formula of the down payment. Down payment equal to cost. So, the down payment given is 10% equal to cost, which is we will get the 45,000 ringgit. So, for the second question is, she asks for how much should he invest today to have enough money for the down payment. So we will use this kind of formula and S will be the down payment and then we solve it, bring it to the left, divide and we will get the final answer which is 23,667 34 cents. Thank you. Okay, let's, let's proceed for the next, to the next question part A. Let's read the question first. 7,000 ringgit was invested for 5 years. The bank offers 5% compound monthly for the first 3 years and R% compound quarterly for the rest of the period. If the amount in the account was accumulated 9,516 ringgit at the end of the investment period. Find R. So, this is the keyword from the question and this is the formula. Just fill in, in the formula and then we will get this final answer. For 2, we will find the R and this is a new P. So we just put it and then this bring the left and we, we square it. And then this is the final answer which is 8.18% for the question 2 part A. So next, B for question 2 part A. Faris met a loan for 65,000 ringgit from a bank that insures 4.25% compound money. After 3 years, the total amount that he has to pay is 18,316 ringgit. Find the value of T and the amount of interest charge. Alright, for part A question to B, this is the info from the question and this is the formula. So for this um, question, we need to add LN. So we just um, put it in behind LN and then just do like that and then the answer is 5 here. And then this answer also want me to find the interest. So uh, for the interest formula is interest S minus P. So this is the final answer. Okay, let's go to the part B question one. For A, GT invest RM800 every six months into an investment scheme for 12 years and six months that pay an interest rate 5.4 compound semi annually. Find the future value at the end of the investment period. Let's go. So hi guys, I'm going to explain the part B question one. It is a future value question. So the formula is S equal R, one plus km this and mt and negative one and the then we're going to put k per m again this is the formula that we're going to use for the future value as you guys can see r is a 800 and one plus km is 0 0.054 per two and mt is two times 12 six per two and negative one and we're going to get the km for the book is 0 0.054 per two and if you calculate all of this again and we're going to get the right answer is RM 
78045.32 That's all from this page cool. Okay guys, let's go to the part B question 1 B Alias is a loan that charge interest 4.4% from one mom D She replaced the loan in 6 years that with a monthly payment of RM 227.42 Immediately after paying the 15 payment, she decided to settle the balance of the loan Find the balance to be repaid Go Okay guys, this is part B Question 2 This is formula for present value so, as we can see, K is 0 0.044, and T is 6 times 12, and we can get 72. M is 12, N is 72, minus 50, we can get is 22. And the R is RM, 237.42%. So, we just fill in all of this in this formula. And as you can see right now is, we can fill in all in the formula. And this for the A, if this is for the R, and this, just write it back, 1 and 1 plus 0 0.044 per 12 for km and this for a negative n and also the above, 0 0.044 per 12 and the last answer is, you can get is 5,931 sin that's all for me, okay, so hi guys, today we're going to read the question that I got which is part B, question 2 so let's read together Nyobia needs to pay RM 3,146.88 sen every month for a loan of RM 240,000 from CBX Bank at an interest rate of 4.5 compounded monthly. So, the first question that I got is, calculate the number of equal payment required. So, let's get F. Okay, so guys, we are going to solve the question that I got. As you guys can see, this is the particular formula that I have in the question. You guys see, this is the annuity equation, which is the, form the formula of annuity is K equal to R1 plus K over M. This is M. This is the formula of annuity. Pardon me, it's not MT, this is N. Okay, so the question is calculate the number of equal payment required. So the question one means to find. As you guys can see, the particular formula in this is complete. You guys just put it into the formula, which is 240,000 as the A and 2146.88 cents is R. And just add it to the formula. Then, after all of this, this will go to this. And then, you got this. Okay guys, after that, this is the hardest part, which is we put it LN here. Okay, LN, and then we're going to put it here, and we get answer here. Yeah, after that, we put N into this, this, and we got in the same answer. But, if you want, if you want to get answer, we just transfer it. So, N equal LN 0 0.71385 divide by negative ln 1.00375 so the answer we got is 90 90 month so the equal number pay, uh, the equal payment required is 90 month next let's go to the question 2 if Nelda failed to pay the first 10 monthly payment how much should she pay on the 11th payment to settle all the outstanding errors let's go Okay, so guys, this is the question 2, which is if you fail, you pay the 10 monthly payment, how much you pay in 11 payment to pay all of the outstanding areas. So we use a formula which is S equal R 1 plus K over M over K N 11, we use uh, this because she want to pay in 11 payment, okay? This, okay, this is the formula we use. So, just put all of the particular in this That's it. Okay guys Just Use your parameter And you will get the final answer Which is Nyalda paid all of the outstanding areas 35,272.08 Since 